it's going to be a lecture divided into two parts. Uh, the two speakers are Jung Kai Chen from National Taiwan University and Meng Chen from Fudan University. Thank you very much. So <clears throat> it's my great pleasure to give a talk here at ICM. And so as introduced by <clears throat> the chairman, uh, this talk is going to split into two parts. And I'm going to do the first part. So, OK, that's great. OK, so I'm going to do the, the first part. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, give you some introduction about the, the topic that we are going to talk about. And also, I'm going to introduce some uh, basic strategy for the idea and the theory that we try to work on the problem along the free clinical maps in projective varieties. And also, I'm going to talk about the theory of, we call theory of baskets and some application on weighted complete intersections. And mention going to do the second part, which he going to go into more detail and about the applications of our technique. OK, so uh, in biological geometry, usually we are considering three types of questions. So one type of question we usually consider is uh, birational classifications. So we try to classify varieties up to birational equivalents. And another type of question we are interested in is birational geometry. We try to understand the geometry of varieties, for example, uh, geometry of male models and any maps between this, this kind of varieties. And also, of course, we are interested in to find the so-called male model. OK, and as you can imagine that all this, pro <coughs> all this type of pro problems are highly related to clinical devices or its invariants. So by, <coughs> by variants, either it's going to be a pair or generalized pairs, uh, which appear in mu model program, or it's uh, about the pre-clinical devices, so M's clinical devices, or it may be something like twisted clinical devices, <coughs> Ks plus P, for some P with a uh, trivial first chain class. So in this talk, we're going to mainly focus on pre clinical devices, and some part of it will involve some twisted clinical devices. And I believe that you will hear a lot of, uh, about pair and generalized pair in Bill Hart's talk, and maybe some of the twisted clinical devices in Mina Popa's talk later. OK, so, so given the predictive variety x and consider the clinical device. So suppose that the M genus is non-zero, then there's a natural map to a predictive space. To a predictive space. So this map we call the M's clinical map. So now here comes the natural question that uh, it's well known that this is this a uh, integers d and r depends on the variety x such that five M is stabilized by originally for M greater or equal than R and divisible by D. Okay, so this is a well known fact. So then it's natural to <coughs> ask the question about the clinical stability index, which says that for any integer n greater or equal than three, then we try to find the integer R depends only on dimension n, such that for all non-singular projective n force of general type, the M's clinical devices, M's clinical map is original onto its image for all M greater or equal than R, R sub n. And similarly, we can consider, in, <coughs> we can consider the affected Itaka vibration. We can try to, <coughs> for any integer n greater or equal than three, and the quadrat <coughs> dimension kappa is between 0 and n. So we try to find integers n sub n kappa and d sub n kappa, such that for 
all non-singular projective variety M4 with quadratic dimension kappa, the M's canonical map fiber M defines the Itaka vibration for all M greater or equal than M and divisible by D. Okay, so you might notice that in the setting of the general type, then we don't mention about the divisibility. And but why in the case of the intermediate <coughs> intermediate quadratic dimension case, then there's a there's a divisibility of D here. Okay, so <coughs> so this D uh, usually is called the exponents and this it's happened that for the general type, the exponent just equal to one, so there's no need to consider the divisibility. And similarly, for we can also consider the anti pre chemical variation analysis for final type varieties. So, for, <coughs> so which says that uh, we can consider the weak Q final n force. And similarly, we try to find the uh, universal bound m sub n such that the uh, phi of minus m is directional onto the image. Okay, so so we <coughs> we are interested in this type of this type of questions, and this all related to pre canonical maps. And also, you might notice that we always put n greater or equal than three because for the Case of curve and surface is well known. So, okay. And one more remark is that uh, the behavior of the pre canonical map is directionally invariant for kappa greater or equal than zero, but somehow it's not directionally invariant for the final situations. Okay, so let me recall some previous known results along. Uh, Previous known result about about the existence of the M and <coughs> R and D. So, so the general known result is by one is by Hickman, McKernan, Takayama, and Chuji. So it says that for variety of general type, then they, no matter which dimension there is, it is uh, such such bound. And another important result is by Fujino Mori. So they build a, a, a canonical bundle formula, and by using the canonical bundle formula, they can show that if the quadratic dimension is one, then such bound is it, and it's computable theoretically. And by extending the similar technique, Fifek and De Qi Zhang, so they prove that when the base variety is, <coughs> when the quadratic dimension is two, so they use some surface theory, and they can show that yeah, the <coughs> M, <coughs> in this case, the, the existence result also holds. Okay, so, so this is kind of a uh, non, non result about the existence in any dimension. And one more result is uh, by Bioka and De Qi Zhang. So they can show, they show that there is, there is a uniform number depending on some certain numbers here, such that the pre canonical map gives a Itaka vibration for all m greater or equal than this and divisible. So here, <coughs> the beta f and the bf and beta f tilde depends on the, the, the general fiber of the Itaka vibration. So suppose that the f is the general fiber of the Itaka vibration, the number bf called the index of fiber is the smallest, smallest positive integer, such that uh, <coughs> the BKF is on, <coughs> is on empty. And you can, so after knowing this B, then you can construct the covering. And this covering, bit, bit one covering, so this covering produces a F tilde, and then you look at the betting number of this F tilde here. So, <coughs> So this, we call it the middle betting number. So the bound is really d depends on your, the fiber of the, fiber of the Itaka vibration and also the geometry of the, your <coughs> covering of the general fiber. Okay, so this is kind of state of art so far. Okay, so now let's turn into, <coughs> turn into the situation where 
in the to the final world. So for which final three four there are some known results. One is by Karl Mata in the year eighty nine. So in the case of Pika number one. And more more example by Kola, Miyaoka, Mori and Takagi in the year two thousand. So they show that the for the three four the the such bond exists. And the most recent result by Bioka, he showed that there is a constant m sub n, depending only on dimension, such that the phi, <coughs> the <coughs> m scan curve phi sub minus m is birational for uh, for m greater or equal m m sub n. Okay. So. <coughs> So taking to the more uh, explicit aspect, then we can try to ask that what kind of can we find those mentioned bound explicitly, or at least in dimension three, or maybe in some special category of varieties. So let me start with uh, with some special category. So the the category I want to talk about is about the uh, is about the irregular varieties. So the, by irregular we mean that the irregularity is positive, and so for complex projective variety there's a <coughs> there's a non-trivial albinism map. So that's A X to be the albinism map. Then that R X to be the dimension of the albinism image. So there's a previous result by Taken and myself in the year ninety seven, <coughs> in the year seven, two thousand seven. So, when if the variety is a of general type and also the maximum of another dimension, suppose furthermore that the order characteristic is positive, then we know the push forward of the canonical shift is an irregular shift, and moreover the three times of three canonical <coughs> three canonical system is birational. So, so let me recall that in the uh, in a situation of abelian varieties, given a ample device, ample line bound on, on abelian varieties, then you know that two times the ample divisor is is less point three, and three times the ample divisor give you a very ample linear system, and this result is kind of parallel to <coughs> to the situation of of ample line bundles on on abelian varieties. And actually, the idea is is just similar to it's just similar to that. So you you consider the push forward of the canonical shift. So this give you a this give you a shift on an abelian varieties. And by studying the cohomological property of this shift, and using the Fourier Mercator transform, on <coughs> which give you a duality between the uh, bounded direct category of abelian variety and its do abelian <coughs> do abelian varieties, then you can study the you can study more about the cohomological property of this kind of shift, and the m regular. <coughs> so being m regular is just a analog being ample divide being ample for line bundle. So by <coughs> by similar technique, we can show that three times the three times the connective three times the connective divisor is birational. And there are some improvement along this direction. So, one is by Jiang Zi, Lahos, and Tilabasi in the <coughs> years 14. So, without assuming the order characteristic to be positive, they can show that for variety of maximum openness dimension, then 3K is birational. Okay, and if the openness fiber dimension is one, so then four times of <coughs> force canonical divide uh, force canonical divide is birational. And moreover, if <coughs> uh, we can also show that if X is a irregular three for general type, then six times <coughs> six canonical divide is birational. So as you can see, that all these results here is kind of uh, it only depends on the dimension of your fiber. So, <coughs> similarly, 
for a beam variety, then no matter the dimension of your beam variety is, or in the situation of the of a natural fiber dimension is one, then it only depends on the f <coughs> the dimension of your fiber is independent of your, of the dimension of your base. So, so for this particular type of uh, for this particular type of category of varieties, then this is a general phenomenon here. And also, I would like to mention that uh, in the study of three four, the, the most difficult case is when the Albanese map is a morphism to an elliptic curve, fiber by the surface of one two type. So, <coughs> so. Uh, so by surface of one two type, we mean that uh, we we know that for for surface of general type, the five types of chemical divisor is always birational. and there is the only one uh, exceptional case where fourth chemical is not birational. So that's the surface of general type. So this this is kind of really the surface of general type on <coughs> uh, extreme <coughs> the extreme surface of general type in some sense. Okay, so so that's what <coughs> what I like to say about irregular three force, and <coughs> and now from now on I would like to concentrate on three force on dimension three. So <coughs> in dimension three, there, there's there's a full machinery of the mill model program, and we know that for for minimal three fold, uh, it's always contain <coughs> usually it contains some singularities, but luckily it's uh, uh, was is terminal singularities. And terminal singularity has been classified by Mousry and Mori to be the quotient of uh, compound to wall singularities. So, <clears throat> so for terminal, terminal singularities, for quotient terminal singularities, and it's, it's terminal if only if it can be normalized into quotient singularity of this type. So this is by the terminal, terminal lemma. So we can always normalize a quotient, terminal quotient singularity into into variety of, <laughs> into singularity of this type, and we usually denote it as B and R. Okay, and and for the compound to bar singularity, then then one can deform it into uh, into the collection of of terminal <coughs> of terminal OP4 points, so so then we just collect this terminal OP4 OP points, and we call it basket. So denoted something like this. Okay, so let's really give the <coughs> give the Riemann graph formula like this. So you see, this is the usual Riemann graph formula for smooth three force, and this compute the comp contribution of singularities. And the contribution can be just <coughs> just compute by by the best kit, not really not really on the terminal singularities. Okay, so in particular, when you consider the Ems chemical map, the formula looks like this. So we can. We call the tri this triple to be a weighted basket consists of basket and chi of two and chi. So this triple determine all the <coughs> all the all the characteristics of of m k for all m greater or equal to three, and also determine the k to the cube the volume. And we so given the basket we introduce a uh, partial ordering between the best case. So, for example, if I have a best case given that this, and compare with a best case given that this, then I call I call this one is a packing of this one. Okay. So written, <coughs> and if the if b two r one b one r two minus b to r1 equal to 1, so the, the cross product equal to 1, then we call it a prime, back, <coughs> prime packing. So by introducing this, by introducing this ordering, then we give an ordering of the, of the weighted baskets 
and then we introduce a canonical sequence of baskets. So given a basket, then we can, there's a canonical way of unpacking into certain type. So this type, we call it the initial basket. It consists of all before of the form one over <coughs> one and R. So, <coughs> So some uh, basic property of the packing of baskets is that suppose we have a we have this packing here, then the prejudice uh, <coughs> respect the ordering, and also the volume respect the ordering. So it's kind of ordering preserving operation. So by by using this, then we <coughs> we can produce uh, interesting inequalities among all the characteristics. So one of the most interesting one is given by this. So the chi five, uh, chi six, chi eight, etc., greater or equal than this. So it's kind of complicated formula you can imagine, but I can show you immediately how. <coughs> how to derive something out of this kind of inequality. So the uh, application is like this. So when we're considering the, the mill model, the kx is nef and big. So by using the vanishing, then, then the order characteristic is nothing but the pre -genus. So suppose that the order characteristic is greater or equal than two, which means the pre is greater or equal than two. Then there is this a there is this a non-trivial uh, pre canonical map, so that that gives us some geometry information, and you can use this pre canonical map and apply the class method that you can produce something. And on, suppose that the <clears throat> if on the other hand that uh, the all the characteristic is not greater or equal than two, it's smaller than two. Then we can show that the set of baskets is finite and, and therefore can be classified. So for each individual for each individual basket, then we can also try to calculate certain um, numbers such that the order character is greater or equal than two. So we can find the M prime such that Pm prime equal to equal to two. Then we can play the game, <coughs> play the same trick again. So by this kind of trick, then uh, one application is that we can show the, for example, the, for the weighted complete decisions, there's a fam <coughs> famous uh, result by Fletcher, give a partial disk of the weighted complete decisions of co dimension less or equal than five, a degree less or equal than 100. And we can prove that there is no example of co-dimension greater than five. And also there is no example of degree greater than 100 by using the theory of baskets. Okay, so I think uh, this is the end of my part and I will hand it over to Ming Chen. I, I, <coughs> I would like to thank the uh, ICM committee and the organizer for the invitation. So uh, as uh, mentioned by uh, Rong Kai, uh, so uh, the, the main original purpose to study uh, the basket theory uh, is to, uh, uh, to try to, uh, to find the upper bound of R3. So, uh, so from the explicit uh, aspect, so it's very interesting to know uh, what is R in. But uh, uh, if you don't know uh, R three, then uh, you don't know R R four. So, but uh, so I, this is uh, the, the first purpose of my talk is to uh, to give uh, the, uh, the the method to to find the effective bound for R three. So uh, let me start uh, with <coughs> uh, recalling the definition of, uh, of, uh, of the canonical stability index. So uh, for the given uh, minimal variety, minimal three-fold general type, say x, then the canonical stability index 
Rsx, nothing but uh, the smallest positive uh, in integer k, so that uh, phi k is stable if rational. <coughs> okay. So, um, uh, so R R three is uh, simply uh, the uh, maximum of uh, among all those number R A R S X. Well, where X is running through all minimal three forms of general type. So, uh, in the history of studying uh, the number R three, actually earlier in 1980s, uh, it's uh, Wilson who first studied this number. Uh, he proved that uh, for Kronstein minimal three forms or at that time, uh, people only studied a smooth minimal three forms. So uh, the, uh, the result is that uh, Wilson proved RSX smaller than uh, equal 25, and then uh, chronologically uh, improved by uh, Banvernisti, uh, Matsuki, and then myself. And finally, uh, in 2000, uh, 2007, uh, the joint work with uh, Rong Kai, myself, and uh, De Chi Zhang. We proved that for, uh, co for Gorenstein minimal three forms of general type, the uh, M canonical map is birational for R M uh, larger than or equal to five. So this result is of course uh, uh, optimal uh, due to, uh, uh, yeah, if, yeah, because uh, uh, due to a famous, famous, uh, Theorem of uh, Bombielli. Bombielli says that uh, for any surface of general type, uh, the five canonical map is birational. So uh, for three folds, if you take a surface and times uh, a curve, any curve of genus at least two, then you will see that uh, uh, this five it cannot be uh, cannot be improved. So the most interesting. Uh, Situation is uh, the non gorenstein case. So this is a yeah, uh, very recent uh, story. So uh, <coughs> so the uh, first breakthrough uh, was uh, uh, made by uh, Janusz Kola in 1986. The result says that uh, suppose you have uh, 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 some integer k so that the pk is at least two, and then uh, the theorem says that uh, 11k plus 5, uh, this, this canonical map is uh, birational. So uh, the main observation of, uh, of Kala uh, uh, is that the, uh, the point is uh, uh, so one can uh, use uh, the uh, uh, semi-positivity. <coughs> okay? So uh, you take a uh, sub-pencil in uh, this uh, uh, K canonical system, and then uh, naturally by uh, modulo, uh, by Russian modification, so you get a uh, subject map onto P1, and then you get, uh, uh, you can naturally have this inclusion of uh, two shifts. Uh, on the left-hand side, this uh, due to the same positivity, uh, the left, uh, the left shift is, is uh, generated by group sections. Therefore, the uh, local section along those general fibers uh, can be uh, glued into the global section of uh, uh, the shift on the right-hand side. So therefore, uh, suppose that for some number uh, P, uh, the fiber uh, uh, satisfies the PK uh, fiber, uh, gives a bi map, then the the global, uh, uh, the, the canonical system on the right hand side uh, gives the bi-rational map. Okay, so a uh, weak, uh, 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 inconvenient point of uh, uh, Collas theorem is that uh, the 11k plus five is not, uh, yeah, it's not uh, 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 a stable property. So uh, one needs to uh, uh, you, uh, do the improvement. So actually, this was done by myself. Uh, so at the, under the same condition, uh, one can uh, one can show that uh, five k plus six is stable by rational. So the method is just uh, uh, the combination of Collas method and uh, uh, the uh, uh, usage of the geometry of linear systems. Okay. 
So uh, now uh, we can uh, give the outline to the uh, to to for the proof of R three. So uh, given a three for general type, if uh, if the chi O X is uh, is is negative, then you can uh, use uh, uh, Reed's protein formula to see that P two is at least at least four, and then uh, by Collas method, then it's okay. So uh, suppose there's another number m uh, between two uh, uh, between two and twelve, so that P m is at least two. Then uh, this is again uh, uh, Collas result. So uh, the the, the, the rest case is that uh, uh, for some three fold with chi is non negative, but for any k uh, between 2 and 12, the pk is uh, smaller than equal to 1. And then uh, the key inequality introduced by wrong chi, so this inequality tells us that uh, chi ox is uh, upper bounded, and also p, p13 is, is upper bounded. Therefore, uh, from uh, from our formula, we can uh, we can calculate the uh, uh, the the the, the, the twelfth canonical basket in the canonical uh, sequence. So uh, for uh, for the basket of X, uh, which is uh, uh, dominated by B twelve, then uh, naturally it has a, a finite possibility. So actually, in uh, in 20, uh, 2000. Uh, 10 and uh, 2015, the series of works with uh, Rong Kai. So we uh, try to, uh, uh, we, we, we take considerable effort to, uh, to study uh, the, these uh, numerical bounds. For example, we, uh, we know that uh, the canonical volume is, uh, is uh, larger than or equal to 1 over 1680. And also R3 is smaller than or equal to 61. And uh, the last statement, so last statement is optimal. So, so far, uh, there, there is no, uh, no, no example with a canonical volume smaller than 1 over 420. So, go on uh, this story. Uh, actually, we can, uh, uh, we can define uh, a new uh, Byron invariant, say a uh, pluricanonical section index, delta. So, we found that uh, any Minimal three fourths of general type satisfies a delta uh, smaller than 18. So, therefore, any three fourths of general type can be classified in naturally into 18 classes. So, here uh, we can, uh, uh, yeah, we, we actually we did uh, uh, the classification, complete classification when delta uh, is larger than 12. So, for example, here you, you, we, can, uh, we will see that delta cannot be uh, 16 and 14. Delta equals to 13 and uh, 18. They correspond to only one, one classes. For uh, delta equals to uh, 14 and 15, so we can uh, do a, co a complete classification. So, uh, the, the, the recently, uh, this number can be uh, improved to uh, uh, so 57. So now we know that this number is between 27 and 57. So 27 is due to uh, uh, Fletcher's example. Uh, so uh, in fact, for delta equals to one and the delta equals to two, uh, we uh, so earlier I I I, I, I proved uh, the optimal result. So so far for three for for general type. Uh, so the most interesting uh, uh, the problem is to uh, try to find examples with uh, uh, canonical volume smaller than one over 420. Okay, so, uh, so I would like to uh, explain uh, the another number, M3. So this is for a Q funnel, weak Q funnel. So here, I, I mean, what weak Q funnel uh, to be uh, one with uh, minus K uh, Q Cartier Nevin Peak. So uh, usually uh, we allow uh, 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 this uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, final final three folds has uh, canonical sing uh, or terminal similarities. So again, in this case, so we can there is a natural uh, weighted basket. So therefore, uh, use the using by using the duality, so we can have some. Uh, 
some uh, uh, parallel version of the basket, basket theory. So using this basket theory, actually we can, the first result, that's in 2008 with Ron Kai. We, uh, here we proved that uh, any weak Q final three fault uh, has an anti-canonical uh, volume, at least one over 330. So this is a, a optimal due to a Fletcher's example. So how about M3? So in 2011, I started to study M3. And then uh, 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 two years ago, uh, with uh, uh, Jiang Chen, Chen, Jiang, with Jiang. So uh, uh, we proved that for uh, weak Q funnel, three fourths with pick up number one, then we can prove that for any M larger than or equal to 39, then uh, phi minus M is by ration. Uh, if we, if we uh, don't uh, have the, have the um, uh, pika number restriction, then uh, what we can prove is that uh, this number should be 97. So by intuition, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this number uh, 97 uh, is far from being optimal. So this is a, a mysterious uh, uh, for me, for us, yeah. And uh, I, I don't know, uh, so uh, maybe we need some new method to do this. But uh, by the way, we have a, a weaker uh, result the last year. So we try to, uh, to go to study uh, further problem. So uh, the result says that for any uh, weak Q final three fold, so uh, the K Mori space, Y satisfy uh, such a property that for any M larger than 52, uh, phi minus M is stably by rational. So, uh, so for, this, uh, for this kind of question, uh, the most difficulty uh, thing is that, so uh, in, in the final case, one cannot use uh, Collas technique. So uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, uh, how to uh, use the uh, same positivity in the final case. Okay, so uh, the last uh, topic I would like to, uh, uh, to, to, to explain some uh, new advance in the threefold geography. So recall that for surface of general type. So we have uh, 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 two famous inequality. One is the Noto inequality, another one is uh, uh, Miyaga Yao uh, inequality. So uh, any surface of general type corresponds uh, to some integral points in this, uh, this area. So, um, <coughs> So for, for the surface theory, so uh, there are, yeah. Uh, so another, another step is to uh, classify uh, those uh, moduli space correspond to whose, uh, whose, whose invariants are correspond to, to, the, uh, to this uh, integral point. We want to uh, uh, build up a similar uh, uh, framework for three folds of general type. So, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's not, uh, not difficult to see that since uh, the chi OX can be, uh, my, can be um, both negative and positive, so uh, it's uh, uh, almost impossible to, uh, to find a relation between the canonical volume and chi OX. So uh, other, uh, unless you, you can uh, define some, some new invariant. So here, the natural choice is uh, that we want to uh, find the relation between uh, the canonical volume and uh, uh, the geometric genus. So here, I should say that uh, it's uh, impossible to hope uh, to get uh, the uh, Miyaka yao type inequality. So uh, for example, uh, if you, uh, yeah, in our paper, we, uh, we have examples. For example, if you take PG equals two, then you can construct an infinite, infinite number of uh, examples with uh, uh, K cubed uh, goes to uh, plus infinity. So therefore, upside, uh, you can't hope to have uh, the inequality. So uh, here I only concentrate on the not type inequality. So why can we do, I uh, hope this. So, uh, so from the, yeah, from the history of uh, studying uh, the not inequality, so we know that uh, uh, 
the, 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 uh, the Gorenstein minimal objects, the, the set is contained in the arbitrary minimal. So uh, uh, it's natural to guess that we can have, we can hope to have such kind of uh, nototype inequality where uh, A and B are both positive, in, uh, uh, both uh, uh, positive rush numbers. Okay, so uh, for Gorenstein case, uh, uh, earlier in 1992, it's Kobayashi who, uh, who first, pro, uh, first construct a series of examples satisfying this uh, equality. And then I uh, proved uh, this inequality for uh, canonically polarized three faults. Then uh, this was uh, approved by uh, Katanese, myself, and uh, De Chizang. And uh, finally, in 2015, with Ron Kai, we approved this, in this inequality for Gorenstein minimal three faults of general type. So uh, only until uh, recently, it's uh, surprising, it's surprising, surpri uh, it's uh, to us that uh, we can hope to uh, have uh, such an inequality for any, for arbitrary minimal three faults. So the point is that uh, uh, one can always uh, assume that uh, PG uh, is larger. For example, PG has this two because the volume is, is, uh, is positive. So, uh, so one can always study uh, the uh, canonical map. So here I have the setting, okay? The settings, uh, so we study the canonical map and then we take blow ups to, uh, to, to get uh, a morphism and then finally we get a horizontal one. This is induced vibration. So I, I denote by dx uh, the in dimension of gamma. Okay, the main theorem is that so this is a joint work with uh, Ron Kai, myself, and uh, Chen Jiang. So uh, actually we proved uh, this uh, inequality, almost proved this inequality, but uh, only the orange colored uh, uh, case. So this case is conditional. So here the condition, here I explain, one two surface uh, is uh, explained by Ron Kai. This is a, a two dimensional parallel to, to genus two curves. And uh, uh, here the last uh, case is uh, GLCT of one two. This is here, this means the uh, global log canonical threshold of the one two surface. Okay, so only in the last case when uh, uh, gamma is a rational curve and the fiber, general fiber of the induced vibration is a one two surface. For this case, uh, we know that when uh, geometric genus is uh, large enough, then uh, this uh, inequality holds. Then uh, fortunately, and thanks uh, to uh, uh, Janusz Kola, who, uh, held, uh, who, who sent a note to us. And uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, he's a right ex expert. And uh, he, he proved that the, the, the global log, log canonical threshold for one two surface, for any one is at least one over 10. So this improves our original, uh, uh, our original bound, uh, one over 13. Uh, that is proved uh, uh, by uh, by using by making use using uh, making use of uh, August list. But uh, here, uh, Carlos' proof is very uh, nice and short, and he, he helped us very uh, uh, very much. And uh, uh, here, uh, actually, uh, Carla construct an example to show that. So this one over ten is optimal. Therefore, we can uh, have this. Uh, uh, a theorem so far. So uh, roughly speaking, for uh, any geometric genus at least 21, then uh, for any, I mean, uh, any three-fourths of general type satisfy this inequality. So, so uh, because this is optimal due to uh, the example of Kobayashi, so we can say that this is really a three-dimensional uh, uh, analysis inequality. Of course, uh, so this uh, inequality holds except for uh, finite classes. Okay, so uh, so it's very natural. We have we, we hope, yeah, by intuition that we believe that this is true for uh, PG between five and uh, twenty. So we are still working on this. So uh, finally, I uh, for last page, I want to uh, I want to 
uh, I mentioned two conjectures. So uh, this is for Rn. And Rn plus means uh, 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 consider those, uh, those minimal threefolds, so minimal objects with uh, geometric genus positive. So the point is that when uh, the variety has a very large volume, the canonical uh, stability index is, is the same as uh, uh, lower dimensional uh, canonical stability index. So here we would like to uh, put forward uh, two conjectures. So uh, both uh, conjecture B and conjecture C in dimension uh, four, uh, less than four, uh, respect to less than five, uh, they are proved by, by us. So, uh, uh, so I think uh, my time is up. Thank you very much. Um, are there any questions? You can ask them to the respective speakers depending on which part the question is from, so to speak. <laughs> um, what, 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 what are the varieties lying on the north line uh, like? Uh, so, uh, so the, the three of the north line uh, tends to have a uh, genus to vibration structure. This is uh, what, I can, uh, what I can know. But uh, apart from the uh, examples of uh, uh, Kobayashi and from uh, Chen and uh, Hu, so uh, we, we don't know any other examples. Yeah, I can. <clears throat> so uh, for, for those examples, they, they have a structure that uh, they always emit a two-to-one covering over, uh, over a variety of minimal degrees. So by variety of minimal degree, there, there are some kind of uh, there are some kind of p1 bundle over p1 bundle over p1. It's yeah, it's, it have very spe <coughs> spatial structure. Are there any further questions? If not, let's thank both the speakers. Again.